Hey everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford. And today we're just gonna go for a quick tutorial here about converting a background into a layer. And if you've been watching my tutorial series, you probably already know how to do this. So this is more geared towards someone who's just looking up on YouTube how to um, convert a background layer or background into a layer and they're stuck or something like that. So let's we'll just get right into it. Um, the background layers are necessary in Photoshop because you, for some like image types, you need to have um, no transparency in them. So if you're trying to like export uh, a JPEG or save as a JPEG, it'll add in like the background layer for you to have everything covered up. Also, when you're like saving as a JPEG, um, it'll take if you have multiple layers, everything will get. Um, flattened down into one layer and that layer is called the background you just it just does it really quick and you don't really see it when it's happening but that's what happens so converting a background layer to a layer is really easy and then there's a, there's a couple ways to do it if you double click on the background layer it'll bring up the new layer info you can name your layer and uh, apply colors or modes or anything like that and hit OK. And, and now it is uh, changed into a regular layer. I'm going to hit Control Z so it goes back to a background. You can also right click on the background layer and click on Layer from Background. And this does the same exact thing. And if I put Bike again, it changes it just the same as if you double clicked it and my preference is just double clicking it because it's a lot faster. Now you might be wondering why you might want to change a background um, into a layer. Well there's some things that you can't do to background layers. First of all they're locked um, and just by double clicking on it and making it a new layer unlocks it. Things if you want to apply things like transparency or blending modes and uh, some other adjustments probably um, you won't be able to do that to a background layer so that's one of the reasons why you might want to um, uh, change it to a regular layer so you won't be able to move it up and down in the timeline either or in the layers panel I mean because it's locked and as a background layer and it needs to be at the bottom so those are the reasons why so that was just a quick tutorial on how to do that very easy very simple so thanks for watching everybody and have a good one